Hi, I'm Ganesh and in this video, we're going to see how to migrate from ASP.NET Core 8.0 to ASP.NET Core 9.0. Let me open up my command prompt and list the .NET SDKs. We can see that I currently have the version 8.0. Now, I have a Visual Studio solution opened up that I created for my Blazor CRUD demo app. Before I do anything, I need to update my Visual Studio to 17.12 or higher. So let me go to help and check for updates. And we see that version 17.12 is available. So let me click update and let it install for a while. Now if I open my command prompt and list my .NET SDKs once again, we see that version 9.0 is installed. This means that if we simply update Visual Studio to 17.12 or higher, we get .NET 9 SDK installed as well. However, if you are not using Visual Studio, you need to download and install the .NET 9 SDK separately. The first step to migrate a .NET 8 project to .NET 9 is to update the target framework moniker. So let's double click the first project to open the project file and set the target framework to .NET 9.0. Now let's do the same thing for all the other projects as well. The next thing we need to do is to update package references. So for packages that begin with Microsoft.ASP.NET Core, Microsoft.Entity Framework Core and Microsoft.Extensions, we need to set the version to 9.0.0 or higher. Also, we may need to do the same thing for system.net.http.json package if we are referencing that as well. So here, for example, in the first project, I have a package reference to microsoft.entityframeworkcode.design. So let me set the version to 9.0.0. And let me do the same thing in the infrastructure project as well. Finally, we need to replace app.use static files with app.map static assets in program.cs class file. So in my simple book catalog project, which is a Blazor web app, let me go to the program.cs class file and replace app.use static files with app.map static assets. If you're using Razor Pages or MEC, you need to chain a call to with static assets after map razor pages or map controller route in your program.cs class file. Now ASP.NET Core automatically fingerprints the static files. So in order to use the fingerprinted file names from our Blazor web app, we can use component basis assets property. So let me go to app.razor and update my explicit references to static assets with at assets and square brackets and within double quotes the path to the static asset. So with all this, we have migrated from ASP.NET Core 8.0 to ASP.NET Core 9.0. Thanks for watching.